Well, hello, Virgo. Welcome to your October general reading. I hope you are doing amazing. Hello. So, as I said before, this will be a general reading, Virgo. So, it may not resonate with everyone. That's cool. Check your moon, rising, or Venus sign. If you need a personal reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Links in the description box below, or you can go to the website up above. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, Patreon, where you can get these readings super early. So check me out there if you're interested. So Virgo, we have back and forth, optimism, and deserving. Mm. You know, it almost looks like you're trying to figure out how you feel about uh, something. Um, This is like bouncing back and forth from somebody, I feel like. I feel like you don't necessarily hate them, but you don't necessarily feel comfortable. But there's something, I don't want to say comfortable, but safe, maybe? Um, Safe, like... Will this person leave? Will they stay the long haul? Okay. Um, I feel like you're having trouble figuring out where this is going. Even though you have these type of feelings or, you, you know, you know what you want. The thing is, I feel like regardless of the situation, you're still going to step into something. Um, it's like no matter how fearful you may be, you're still being optimistic that things will go well. What's interesting is I feel like it will in this situation. Um, I just feel like you all need to get over this hump, this heavy energy part, and then it will start to get better. You know, first it's going to be your mindset that changes and then things will just follow from there. Okay. So Virgo, let's get into your reading. Ooh, hair font. We starting off strong. Two of cups. Lord. Ten of wands. Seven of wands. Four of wands. Virgo. Three of wands. The sun. Woo. And the empress. Oh, listen. I wish this was my reading. Okay, the world and the king of swords. Um, hmm. This is like ending something and starting a new cycle, right? But this time when you start this cycle, this is like, uh, if it's a relationship, we're not playing games. We're doing this the right way. We're going to work things out. We're going to be together. So I feel like it's a very strict, like, whatever we were doing in the past, whatever I was doing in the past, um, we're not doing it anymore. Okay? Whether this is work, life, love, whatever. Whatever was in the past is in the past and we're moving forward, right? We're going to make it happen. We're going to do it. This is it, you know? Um, No games at this point. So you're like, come towards me with something real or not at all. Um, Yeah. So I'm going to say this. In the past, you fought for this relationship. Could have been a lot of back and forth. Um, I feel like it starts off Virgo with you shifting from the energy of I'm standing up for what is what I think is right to to I'm standing up for what I believe in, which is maybe this relationship or this job as a whole. So it's not just about you as an individual, because I feel like you start to see when you do that, it gets a little bit selfish. This is going to be a weird read. I can tell. Um, It gets a little bit selfish instead of thinking about the whole thing. So it's kind of like making that sacrifice for happiness and where you feel stable at um, to see if it can work instead of thinking, oh, I wish this person would do this because it makes me feel this way, if that makes any sense. Okay, anywho, um, I feel like this whole thing has been a burden on this person. To me, this just feels like a lot of responsibility. Like this this situation, relationship, whatever, has just been a lot of responsibility, a lot of burden, a lot of uh, drifting away and coming back, whether you're together or not. Maybe you had some bouts where you didn't talk to each other that much, that type of thing. I don't feel like you ever really split up. 
and you could have broken up you could have said you know i don't want to be with you anymore but i feel like that energy is still uh, attached to each other so this feels very much like a soulmate because it feels like when you're together it's good it's when there is an issue or a problem that things get really really heavy really quick okay um yeah, because the Four of Wands is in the middle, which tells me you've built a really good foundation with this person. It's the stuff on top, the issues that come about, I feel like, that are really hard. And it's almost like the person that you're dealing with creates these issues. They create these burdens. They create drama. Maybe they like drama or maybe they have a lot of drama around them. And if this is a job, it's a lot of drama around the job, but the job is good. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Um, it's like, this is the person for you right now. This is the job for you right now. Um, I feel like it's going to play a steady part in your life, at least for right now. I'm going to say a good three months if we're not already in that three month span. Yeah, that came out fast, didn't it? Okay, so, um... Yeah, you're deciding to fight for this because there's a good foundation, you know, um, and I feel like even if this person drifts off into like drama land, they come back better. I mean, not better, but it's like they get over it and then you continue on how you were doing. So that's why I feel like this is a soulmate, because it feels to me like a person that you disconnect with. In, in various ways and then you reconnect with them again but things feel good you know like you can talk about anything it's like a friend you don't see for three months you see them and then you talk non-stop you know um I do feel like it's going to be a little bit of a time Virgo so don't think that everything's just going to be great right off the back um there is going to be a wait but it's like keep up the fight keep up what it is you're doing keep up trying to push things forward don't don't dwindle off your energy don't stop trying okay uh i feel like both of you are getting to happiness right it's almost like the person that you're dealing with virgo um they know they have this stable foundation with you they need to learn how to create a helpful happy joyous environment and not just a negative it's like they're used to drama or something you know and they're they're creating that environment because they feel comfortable in it but it's not good for the relationship itself so i do feel like the success is here in the relationship it's like you're meant to be around or with each other um and and find success in this so even though the drama I feel like is around this, it's almost like the success is in the center. And if both of you can focus on the success part, then things will be good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if some money jumps out at me. Abundance or money. Um... If you want to start a new hobby, I would definitely try. This is a good time for you to figure out um, how to do something. So let's say you want to knit. This is a good time to teach yourself how to knit because I feel like in the future, you're either going to use it to make something for someone or uh, start, a, start a business or it's going to help you as far as finding happiness, like a, ha a happy hobby in your life. Mm. some of you are saving money to go on a trip because you feel like you need or like you want a new experience and that's a good thing thumbs up thumbs up <laughs> virgo for that mm. i don't see a lot of work stuff except for that i feel like work is normal every day you go on because you have to type of thing okay Yeah, 
whoever this person is, you're starting to see that you're lucky. Uh, this is a journey for sure, Virgo. Um, you're getting to learn about this person. Um, I feel like more you're learning more about them because they're trying to change themselves to be with you. If you can read between the lines, you would be able to see that, that they're actually trying. They may not have gotten where you want them to get to yet, but they are trying. Um, there's a sense of loyalty that this person has for you that they can't let you go. It's almost like a cycle that both of you just are attached to each other. And you're going to have burdens, but you're going to have to talk them out. Okay, you're going to have to talk them out. So whatever structure you thought wasn't going to change and it would take God's glorious hand to change it, it is going to happen. Things are going to change. Things are going to shift. Okay. Um, some of you may have to spend time with this person, like for a work thing or a friend thing. Um, it's okay. I feel like it's fine. And that's what's going to help you is that you have to face each other. You have to be around each other. So you can't keep uh, being upset with each other. And this could be a co-worker as well that you feel this way about. Um, yeah. Just know that there's somebody that you're disconnected with, Virgo. And as soon as you get connected with them again, it's going to be like nothing ever happened. Right. But, but. The problem or the issues are still there. And it's something that both of you need to work on. Whether this is friend or foe. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, this is a random message. But some of you are going to read a book. And it's going to have something in there that really clicks to you. You know, like maybe you're reading a book about Proverbs. And you read a proverb that just changes your life from here to the end of the year. You know, it gives you some sort of... Uh, um, not anecdote. What am I trying to use? Affirmation that you can say to yourself every day. Yeah, whatever difficult relationship you were having, there's like some lift for that. It's going to get better. Yeah, okay. So the world card, like I said, brings about ending of cycles and um, some sort of direction. I just feel like the king of swords is telling me about direction. It's like things are going to come to some mature head where you can make a logical decision. and Things just make sense. I don't know. Okay. Compassion. Well, I should hold these up, shouldn't I? So we have compassion first. Improving health. Improving health could be as simple as just really your health improving. Um, but I feel like it's the health, the energy health around your life. Like things are just getting better. Things are getting lighter. Uh, issues are being lifted, you know, that type of thing. And it has to do with you just being compassionate, like for other people's issues, like your grace, your grace, your nurturing, which you normally have Virgo is just going to really help you out during this time. So you have go with the flow. Definitely makes sense. It's like letting go of whatever anger hurt, I don't think it's hurt and anger. I think it's just you feeling like you have to go in some sort of direction or somebody has to do this in order for you to be successful. Um, it's going to change. You know, it's kind of like instead of fighting what is, you're going along with what is and seeing what comes out of it to get a better outcome. Okay. So Virgo, thank you so much for being here. I love you and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.